<laughs> to this uh, master class, not a workshop, it's a master class. And uh, the nature of the master class is to help us in developing uh, some uh, very important skills or knowledge that we can uh, manage to uh, acquire within a contact period of um, maybe four to five hours of discussion. However, because we are doing this virtually and uh, we are mindful of the sacrifices that uh, participants will be making, this uh, virtual masterclass is um, scheduled well. for just about one and a half hours. And um, it is the first virtual work, uh, masterclass of the Center for Housing and Sustainable Development. Uh, it is titled Using ICT to Enhance the Task of Literature Review, Mendeling as a Literature Management Tool. Uh, so I'm sure that as researchers, we have been, um, we, we have all faced the problem of managing our literature, uh, literatures and our referencing and all of that. There are a lot of times that also uh, we submit um, articles or, you know, uh, for publication or for pieces uh, and all of that. And we get the feedback that some references are missing. So uh, to address that problem, we decided to put up this masterclass. And we have uh, one of our colleagues who is um, very skilled in this area to lead us through. Uh, without much ado, I would like to call on Dr. Julius Faremi, who will be facilitating this session. Dr. Julius Faremi is a lecturer at the Department of Building, Faculty of Environmental Sciences, University of Lagos. He's also the cluster manager for the Sustainable Construction and Construction Skill Development Research Cluster. I'll be handing over to him now to, you know, just uh, take us through uh, today's activities. Uh, but while that, uh, while that is on, I'd just like to ask everybody to, you know, keep to the usual housekeeping rules. That is not to unmute unless you are called on to speak. However, if you have questions, this is an interactive session. If you have questions, you can raise up your hand and uh, Dr. Faremi would, you know, uh, call on you as he goes along. So I, I'm very sure this is going to be a very impactful uh, session and I want to thank you all for coming again. Dr. Julius Faremi, I'm handing over to you now. Thank you very much for uh, facilitating this session. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Yalowo, for that uh, the comprehensive introduction. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I think uh, Dr. Yalowo has done uh, a lot of uh, the introduction already. So today's session is a master's class session. Sorry, Dr. Faremi, you are not very audible. All right. Is it better now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, better, sir. Thank uh, you. Uh, uh -huh. All right. Okay. Yes. Thank you. This well. <laughs> so today's master's class, just like uh, Dr. Lau rightly said, it was actually meant to be a physical uh, interactive class because I think the this program was conceived sometimes last year, but owing to the COVID nineteen pandemic, we a lot of things were stalled. So nevertheless we decided to do a virtual uh, makeup. However, despite the fact that it's a virtual one, it's still going to be as engaging and as interactive as possible. Because the whole idea of the class is not just supposed to be another uh, walkover session. It's not supposed to be another PowerPoint session. It's supposed to be a session that would actually leave all participants with concrete technical uh, development and improvement that we can actually use to enhance uh, managing of literature and uh, helping us to write better in the 
in the coming days. So briefly, I want to share just the introductory part because the, the mode of this class is going to be such that we will have a, a bit of introduction, the fundamentals about uh, Mendeley. Then we'll go to the Amazon. Each and every one of us would actually use our hands to try out uh, Mendeley because that's actually the idea. So as I mentioned earlier, and as uh, Dr. Yalawa said, this is a practical session, so to speak. That is the interpretation of the master's class is a practical session. And it's centered on using ICT to enhance the task of literature review, mainly as a literature management tool. I'm Julius Faremi, I'm a lecturer at the Department of Building, University of Lagos, and I'm also the cluster manager for Sustainable Construction and Construction Skills Development Cluster of the Arua Center of Excellence for Urbanization and Habitable Cities, who happen to be the host of this event, as we can see on the, um, on the slides. So the, the Arua Center is actually the one that is hosting this, ably supported by the GCFR and uh, the UK Research and Innovation, Innovation uh, Grants. So in today's session, we'll be covering the, the aspect of actually downloading, installing, and creating Mendeley account. Then we'll be looking at setting up Mendeley library. We'll be looking at the interface for Mendeley. Then we'll go on to look at populating literature looking at all the possible options by which literature can be populated into the library. The Mendeley is like a physical library. As we have the physical library, the Mendeley is a virtual library. It's a replica of the physical library. So if you have a library, obviously you need to put in books, you put in journals, you put in your literature in there. So that, that's how Mendeley works. So in this case, we'll be looking at all the ways by which uh, the library called Mendeley can actually be populated. Then we'll be looking at how we can actually search literature from within the Mendeley library. Then we'll also be discussing on how to actually highlight and make notes within the library. And the last but not the least, that is actually the whole essence of why we are meeting is to actually be able to manage our citations and uh, references using the software. So that is actually the overview of uh, what today's session is going to, to look like. As a matter of fact, uh, maybe at the end of the session, uh, the center will, I will make the slides available to the center so that it can actually serve as a, as a reference uh, and as a follow-up to today's session. But by and large, it's not going to be uh, a kind of a gloss over session. So I want to actually appeal to each and every participant to be hands on. I want to believe that you are with your laptop. I need you to be with your laptop. We'll be as, uh, as fast as the least person to get whatever tax we are on. In, uh, in actually progressing so that we won't leave anybody behind. So once again, I wish to welcome you to today's session. And uh, I want to encourage you to be free to uh, ask questions. I'm, I'm prepared not to be tired of uh, all the questions. So no matter the number of questions, trust me, we actually deal with them so that the objective of this master's class can, can be achieved. So the, the prerequisite for this class is that each and every one of us needs to have a system. We need, well, I, I wish I can actually see your system before you. It's very, very important because it's not, uh, there are quite a number of uh, videos online that we can actually watch if we want to gloss over. But because it's a practical class, it is important that uh, we actually follow each of the activities. 
So we need a, a computer, uh, either a laptop or a desktop. We need a, a stable internet connection and uh, we need a web browser. So the computer can run on any OS, either the Macintosh OS, Android, Windows, or the Linux OS. And we need uh, this, either of these web browsers, uh, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer 10 or Edge, then uh, Firefox or Safari. So any of whichever system you, are, you have with you, once it meets this requirement, then it's good for today's uh, master's class. So I'm going to exit the, the slides now so that, because the idea, what I've done is that the slide will just be a kind of a follow-up after the session. So I'm going to be sharing my screen you, uh, with you so that you can actually follow what uh, each of the things that I'll be doing, I want you to, to do yours. If there are difficulties, I uh, will permit you to share your screen so that we see where, where the issues are, provided those uh, prerequisites are, are met. So the, but before I exit my screen, I will just want us to discuss briefly what Mendeley is. I'm sure some of us uh, must have actually done a background check for those that are probably new to Mendeley. Because like every other computer application or softwares or suits, there are three distinct categories when it comes to either the use of computers or the use of softwares. We usually have the beginners, we have the intermediate, and we have the advanced users. So I'm approaching this master's class from the perspective that we have beginners that have actually joined this uh, master's class session. So it is very, very important that I make uh, those uh, categories of participants that are beginners to understand what Mendeley is all about. Mendeley is uh, mostly referred to as a research workflow and academic social uh, network platform. So most people call it an academic software, but it's actually a research workflow and academic uh, social platform that actually helps anybody that is undertaking an academic exercise vis-a-vis -vis research writing, report writing, among others, to be, to be able to be more versatile and to have an enhanced experience. And just like I mentioned earlier, it uh, is a cross-platform application that supports uh, the major operating systems of computers as well as major browsers. So the, I also need to mention uh, that Mendeley is a product of Elsevier. We all know Elsevier, the uh, uh, giant uh, publishing uh, organization within the space of the academic. So it's a product of Elsevier. So there is a very, very strong link between uh, Mendeley itself, Elsevier, and Scopus, as well as uh, other products. So aside the fact that it helps us to manage our literature. It can also improve our visibility, especially for those that are into core research. So you will, be, will see some of these things that uh, Mendeley can actually help us to achieve as we move on. So it helps us essentially to organize uh, documents, uh, literature, it helps us to collaborate with other researchers helps in uh, discovering statistics and recommendations that uh, for literatures that probably align with our, our research focus or our research interest. And it helps us to stop our data. It, it, it helps us to uh, do a cloud uh, storage of our literature. You can imagine um, a researcher of so many years having to probably lose his or her system to 
whatever for whatever reasons, even just uh, uh, a system theft. You know how many years of setback that can be to someone that is doing research. So you worry less when you are on Mendeley because whatever goes into Mendeley is actually backed up in the cloud. So all you need to do is just like your email, you sign in onto a new computer and in a Jiffy, all your literature are back. So if this is understood, then uh, the house rule once again, please, if you have any question, please don't hesitate to raise your hand. You, we, we can see the hand raising option at the lower part of the, of the Zoom uh, interface. So you can raise your hand. Your, your question will be attended to. So getting straight to business, and I'll be posting the link for those of us that have not uh, downloaded the application, I'm going to put the, the Please, if you are not asking questions, I will appeal that you mute your speakers, your mic, rather. So, if, um, for those of us that are yet to download, because we actually encourage participants to have download prior to the commencement of the session, but paradventure, the, you did not download so I'm going to exit my screen now. Then I'll post the download link into the chat box. If you check the chat box now, I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to do that so that we can get started with the download. So you just click on that link. So I have uh, I have the link to the download of uh, of Mendeley, irrespective of the kind of system that you are making use of. So please, I need I need everybody to have downloaded the Mendeley app. Let's do a quick uh, survey. If you are, if you have the the Mendeley app installed on your system, please can you raise your hand? Let me let me see uh, the number of people that we need to wait for. All right, fine, yes. So please show by the raise of hand. Okay, I think uh, we we have majority yet to download the Mendeley app. You can please go ahead and click on, on that link so that we can have you on the same page. So once you have it downloaded, please just raise your hand in the uh, chat box room under the participants, we see the raise of hand to the extreme right. So once I have like 70% uh, show of hand, then we can proceed. And if there are still difficulties downloading, please, you can uh, unmute yourself and ask questions. But I'm sure you won't have any issues just click on that link the link that are provided in the chat box then if you check Dr. Faremi. yes there's there's no link there's no link there's no link in, in the, the chat, chat in, in the chat box it's not there it's not yes. there uh, that, that's network issue nobody uh, can see we can't see it, can't see it so. you can't see it all right let me post we it can't. again it's not there. People are oh, talking. Right. I'm, I'm posting it again. Dr. Faremi. Yes, sir. What I did is I have a registration with the SVR. Yes. With the registration, you can easily download Medley. Yes. What it takes just your name, 
your email address and maybe a password. And then you, with that, you can easily download immediately. Yes, but because because now, you know, registration with Elsevier, we yes. give you access to all Elsevier products, including Mendeley and Scopus. So okay. I'm trying to just take them link. straight to, can you see the link now? The link is there now. Okay. Dr. Varem, is there. Thank, Thank you, you very so, much. Thank yes. you. Please just click on it and let's you to take you to the download page. You see the download at the top right corner of the of the really home page. So once, please, once you are able to download and install, please, you raise your hand in the, you show by raising your hand in the chat box, please, so that, because we all need, we need to be, it's an answer training, so we need to have the Mendeley app. That is basic. Sorry, Dr. Farid. Yes, sir. After download, Yes, sir. To install, it's now asking if you want uh, this app to make changes to your device. Yes. Is yes. it yes or no? Yes, it is yes. Because okay. it, it's mm -hmm. actually going to, it's going to work with quite a number of things. It's going to work with your Microsoft Office. Okay. It's going to be working with your browser. So, you know, it's a versatile uh, application. So, is yes. Dr. Faremi. Prof, good afternoon, this, sir. He took me to a page that is saying one discovery. Then I should search. Clicking really? on the link that you sent. Ah. Uh -uh. It's supposed to take you to the home page. Do anybody have similar experience to what Prof is talking about? The page, when I click, the page it's open, it said, I do I discovery, mainly brings you research to life. So you can make, then he said, there's a, there's a, there's a box there that, there's a search box there. No, uh, it's supposed to take you, Prof. It's supposed to take you to a page. Yes. Then top, uh, Prof, the top yes. right, the extreme right. It's not uh, download. Top right. You, the download. Please click on the download, Prof. You are okay, right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So I think... Uh, the rest of us are on the same page too. So once you click on that, it's going to take you to another page to say download Mendeley desktop for whatever. If you are using Mac, it will have recognized the system. If you are using yeah. Windows, say download yeah. Mendeley desktop for Windows. If you are using no. uh, Linux, it will tell you download mainly desktop for Linux. So automatically... Yeah. Well, what, what, what it did for me, yeah, it gave me yes. two icons, either Apple Store or Play Store. So I click my Play Store and it's now downloading mainly... Oh, okay. Are, are you using a mobile uh, device? I'm using my, I'm using my, uh, my tablet. tablet. Yes, yes, okay, that, that's the reason, exactly. Okay. All right, so it's still fine. It's okay. Yes. All right, I think some people, I can see the people in the chat room, some people appear to, to be a, bit, a little bit ahead of us. They, they, are, they are already on the signing page. So 
So if you're already on the sign-in page, please go ahead to create an account. Okay. So go ahead and create an account. But please ensure that it is that downloaded one that you are creating the account with. Because we'll be talking about the web version later. So the desktop is the one that is very, very important at this time. So once you have the desktop account, automatically it creates the web account for you. It, it, uh, they are together, they are tied together. Okay, somebody is raising hand. Uh, Dr. Mohamed Lawal, are you, are you raising your hand? Please, you can unmute yourself, please. Unmute yourself. Dr. Mohamed. Hello, Dr. Mohamed. Please, can you unmute yourself? So please don't forget to raise your hand once you have an account created. Please, once you're able to create an account, the uh, mainly desktop account, please show by the raise of hand so that we can proceed because that's the prerequisite for us to proceed. We need majority of uh, participants to actually create accounts successfully so that all of us can be on the same page. Are you still, uh, uh, Ma, Dr. Kolyosho, good afternoon, Ma. Are you still having difficulty clicking on the link? Yes, Dr. Farami. Yes, ma'am. So what's the challenge, ma'am? Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm still having difficulty. Now, it took me to, good afternoon. It took me to yes, a page where it said, uh, um, search and the, something below that says create an the, the first one, did you get to the first place where it actually showed the, uh, Discovery or uh, I discovery and all of that. The initial home page. You take you to Should the initial home page. Click the. the that's that's where. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's where it took me to. Okay. So, do you, can you find any download menu on the top right corner? Now it has brought out email. No, 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 no. I need that you to... page. Okay. I, I, because it's, it's, it's possible for you to create take... account and it brought no, out I email. Don't... No, I don't want I don't want you to create I don't want you to create the web account yet. I want you to add the desktop account. So you should because and for you to have the desktop account, you need to install on your device. So on from that home page, if you click on the download, it should take you to the download uh, page, depending on your device. Are you using a Windows device or a tablet? 
a, 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 an Android or a Mac, Apple device? Window. Window. I'm using a laptop. Android. Hello, man. Is it an Android device? I'm using a laptop. Okay, laptop. So it should take you to the... Okay, you know what I will do, ma? Let me, let me quick... I will paste the link to Windows download for you now, right away on, on the chat. So I have, I have that pasted, ma. This is specifically for Windows. So I have... I've sent that to the chat room. Can you see it, man? Under the chat. Has it dropped, man? Yes, the chat. Uh, yeah, I see the the link. Ahead, the new one. So I click on that, that one, man. That one. Yes. Click on that one. It will take you to the download for Windows. Okay. Dr. Foreign. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm there now. So I In the installation, I go to where it says yes. finish. So, so sorry, I click sir. finish. It did not. Yes. Sorry, sir. Let me just... Hello, ma. Yes, please. Okay. Is it fine now? Yes, I'm on download medium yes. for Windows. Exactly. I should click on that now. Yes, ma. So after Sorry. downloading, you run the app. You, you double-click on it for it to install. All right. Okay. All right. Dr. Afolayo, I'm with you, sir. Yes, I was saying I go to somewhere where it was uh, asking me to press finish. By the yes. time I press finish, yes, it, 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 the icon there remains. It said, "Click finish to close this wizard." The wizard yes. is not closed. Hey, or just allow it maybe another thirty seconds, sir. So it, it may that. still be probably rounding off uh, the installation. Yeah, what it now brought out is medley desktop is already running. So you are fine. So please, sir, close. Is there click. Yes. Is there click the mainly icon in the taskbar or dock to activate it? Uh, can you see the icon on the taskbar beneath the lower part of your system? Can you see the menu? Yes. Icon? Yes. Is there? Please click there? on it. Let's see. Click on it. It should. It okay. should take you to the sign in page. Okay. I think I signed in somewhere. Okay, so if, if you sign in, if you take you to the interface, is that, that what is, you uh, have? That is what I do. I sign in that's somewhere that, where no, it has for my email, no, that, password. That, sir, double click on that icon first and let's see what is going to uh, pop up. Which one? The tax bar icon, the M, the Mendeley icon okay. in the tax bar. Double click yes. on it, sir. Okay. I, had, I don't know. I now have two of them there. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> so, do, do you, is there any difference? Is, can you see any windows popping up? Uh, it's still taking me back to that... Uh, Finish thing. Please close that finish. Okay. Close, close that finish. Close every other thing. Because obviously it will have even created a shortcut for you on the desktop. Okay. Let so we can double check. click on that shortcut. So once again, an, a reminder that once you once you've been able to install successfully, please raise your hand in the interface the chat uh, the participant uh, inter interactive session so that i know the number of people that we still need to wait for dr farem yes ma'am 
I see new Mengli reference manager is now available. Get started. That's yes, really ma'am. Yes, click on get started, ma'am. It will take you to a sign in page. Okay. Thank you. Dr. Mohamed, I can see your physical hand, but you need to unmute yourself. So that I can't hear you. Please, sir, unmute yourself. Hello, Dr. Mohamed. Yes. Uh -huh, fine, excellent. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Yes. I've not been able to get uh, get it uh, because I'm using an Android here. Yeah. No yes. laptop. It, it, the Android, for the Android device, mm. please click on the first link, the long one. I posted uh, the link to download in the chat box. So, please click on that first one. It will now ask you to download using the Play Store or depending on your device. Then you click yes. Then you take it to the Play Store for you to download uh, the app. So, please do that, sir. So I think we, a lot of us are getting it now. So, uh, Dr. Folayon, have you been able to get back to the interface, the, the medley interface itself? Better. Sir, can you hear me? Can you hear me, sir? Okay. I think I, uh, quite a number of people, uh, a number of our participants are getting it. So please, we are waiting for others. Dr. Afolayo, have you been able to, to get to the sign-in page? If you have been able to get to the sign-in page, let me let me go back to to the slide so that we can see what the sign-in page looks like. So I'm waiting so that I'm waiting. I want us to be here. Hello, Dr. Farami. Yes, sir. I re entered. And I saw there's already a shortcut icon to Mendeley on my desktop. Okay. When you click on that, what happened, sir? Okay, let me do that. I'm trying to minimize first. 
Okay. Uh, okay, I click on it. Yes. It's opening. Okay. I go to a place where it says all documents, authors, title, blah, blah. Okay, okay, yeah. So you have even, you, that means you've signed in. So, yes. Okay, that's fine. That's also fine. That's excellent. So please just wait for us there. All right, sir. All right, thank you, sir. So this yes, works, sir. are we? Hello, sir. Yes, please. Yeah, Um. I just shared my now. Uh, your screen, uh, I can see. Yes, I'm not good now. Yes, you are okay. So please just just drop. This is fine. So that means you are already in the interface. So right. just close it. All right. We are waiting for the others. Hey, what is it? Me, Jade, or to support you? Can install now? What's that? What? What? Was what, what it installing, sir? I don't know. It came up with something again. The, the top left you have for reference manager installed. That was ticked in green. Yes, we will we'll come back to that. Just close that, sir. Okay. Just close that for now. Okay. So once you close that, is some of those uh, add-ins and plug-in, but we'll be we'll be dealing with them later. I just want us to take it one point at a time. All right, sir. Uh. All right, can uh, are we there? Where now? How, how many of us are on either the signing page or have signed in successfully to the desktop app? Because I can only see like six show of hand from the participant interactive uh, menu. And I want to be sure that we are not leaving too many people behind. So is anyone still having, is anyone still having issues, please? Okay, I can see that someone is stuck on the signing page. Please, you yeah. can refresh, you, you can refresh, man. Yeah, yeah. If you are stuck on the signing page, you can refresh. It will be My a network. The volume is very low at my end. That's how I do my complaint. Okay. But is it better now? It's still as low as it was. I, are you on hands free, please? Are and you, you on hands free? Are you on hands free? I'm using a laptop. Yes, if you have an if you have an earpiece, if you have phone earpiece, please plug it to that laptop. Do you understand? No. Do you have your phone earphone, the earphone, no. the earpiece of no. the phone? Earphone. No, no, I don't have my earphone. Earpiece. Be, uh, yes, because oftentimes the uh, computer speakers may not be loud enough. So you can see that even myself, I'm on earpiece. Otherwise, I may have difficulty hearing you because most of the speakers in the laptops are, are really not uh, high power speakers, except you have maybe a, a, an entertainment uh, configured uh, laptop, maybe an HP Pavilion, for example. So those often comes with bigger speakers. So I'll try, I'll, I'll try to, to also raise my voice at this end. Okay, I will, see, I, I will see if I can. Uh, yes, but if you can get, down. if you can get the oh, earpiece, it will yeah, be perfect. Um, if you can get the earpiece, it will be perfect. Thank you. 
you are most welcome, sir. So please, uh, are we making progress with the signing? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yeah, my name is Oyaki Okay. I got the download and I saw the icon on my name. Okay. Okay. So have you clicked on the icon? On clicking the icon, it's requesting for uh, email and uh, password. Perfect. Can you hear me, Excellent. Sir? Excellent. Hello? So, Chris, Doctor. Yes. yes, I can hear you. Okay. So, so, you can go ahead and create an account. Okay, new account or any of my email? New account, obviously, but please, let it be something that you will always remember. Okay, all right. Okay. So, you create a new account. Okay, thank you, sir. You are most welcome. Hello, Dr. Farem. Yes, please. Good afternoon. Um, where I am right now is where we have citation updates, articles, okay. suggestions, recently published articles. Okay. So, Prof, did you see the download? Did you see the option for yes. download? Yes. I've, yes. Yes. Okay. I've, because... I've gone beyond that one. Okay. Where I have now is add to your library, that is view PDF. Okay, okay, that means you are, you are in, you are already at the interface. So you wait for us there, Prof. So you are already ahead of us. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You are, you are the same bus stop with Dr. Afalayon. <laughs> it's not true. So, All sorry. Right. That sorry. is where we have uh, the citation of this article suggestion, recently published articles. Yes, we have, we, have the the file, we have the file, yeah. the file, the view, the edits, the tools. You, can you see all of that? Uh, yes. That is where, where I am presently. I can see abstract. Welcome to Medley. We are delighted to have you on board, something like that. <laughs> view PDF. No, no, Prof, did you download the app? Yes, or I did that. Uh -huh. Because I don't want it to take you to the web page, because I, I, you know, you have a, I, I know you have a saving account, so mm. I don't want it to take you to the, to the web page. I want you to still remain on the desktop. So the desktop, the desktop view, is going. Let me, uh, Prof, can you share your screen? Let me do that. Yes, please share your screen. Um, it's okay. I'm back to where you mentioned. Uh -huh. yeah. So that is excellent. Thank you, Prof. Yes, are we all there now? Dr. Faremi. Yes, please. There are some uh, comments on the, some concerns raised by uh, participants on the comment on the group chat. Okay. Do you want to, do you want me to read them out or would you just look at it so you can give them guide, uh, guidance? The, the, I think I'm seeing some of those chats now. Yeah. I have uh, the, someone says I can't create an account. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Interrupted. Mm -hmm. So mm. I've said they should refresh. They should refresh the web page. Hello, Doctor Fremi. Yes, please, Prof. He's telling me welcome to Menlu. He's just welcoming me. That's where he wants you to be, Prof. <laughs> yeah, welcome, Prof. That was the same way it welcomed the welcome. Professor Abinga. It's only professors that are welcome, sir. <laughs> so I, I, I think that's uh, exciting because that's what I want to hear that all of us have been welcomed. <laughs> okay. So we are we are we are we are in already, Abby. Yes, you are in already. Okay, thank you. All right, Prof. Professor, there's, oh. there's a take home from this. Yes. We can see how difficult online teaching will be. 
in, in fact, that, that's the more reason why I said we won't do we won't do the slight thing because it's not going to solve the problem. Yes, sir. So it's uh, because really, if it's uh, physical to Doctor Folayo, the idea was that we were going to be going around. Yeah, welcome. You know, yeah. but the good thing about it will have been that okay for those that welcome. have been able to get it, so it won't be okay. only the facilitator, they too will have helped in going around. You know, if you have five yes. people who have signed okay. it, okay. then so you can so spread much. out to assist those that, that are still having it. Yeah, right. I have, I, I, I wish I need to know. Uh, there is uh, a big uh, Is there any uh, improvement now? No. Yes, a big barolo. I can hear you. I can hear you. Client, client seven suggests. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes, client seven suggests that you are using a mobile device. Using a mobile device. Hello, can you hear me? I can hardly hear you. Can you hear me? So as they bring it out here. So, thank you. You said what? I, I couldn't hear you. Did you say you've been able to make progress? Can you hear me? Dr. Faremi. Yes, please, Prof. So are you waiting for all of us now to get to the welcome page? I, I'm just waiting for about 60% of the participants. Because okay. by the show of hand, by the show of hand that I have here, I just have, because I can't even see your hand, Prof. So uh, okay, because, okay. Uh, hey, I need to I see, uh, hey, I need to see by show of hand that 60% of us are already at the at the welcome page so that we won't leave too many people behind. Okay, yes, uh -huh. I can see the show of hand is now correct. Dr. Afolayo, I can't see you are not showing your I, I didn't see the point to show hand though. Participants, under participants. Under more. Okay, I see participants. Yes, there, there is more. Dr. Farami. Yes, please. Are we going to create a new email account because it's telling me uh, invalid email, invalid email? It's not, you are not creating a new email account. You just create an account for Mendeley. So as you are creating that account for Mendeley, it will request for your original email. Okay. So, it's, it's, your, it's your old email because it will send information to your email that exactly. you go and click on. Okay, so, so an ex existing e functional existing email. email. Yes. 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 Okay. But that's where you Thank send you, the information to. Yeah. Yes, to verify. Thank you, sir. Participants, me, Ori, Mombi. 
Yes. Uh -huh. Let's go back to Dr. Fulani. The, yes. The, you, uh, on the, on your screen, can you see, can you see the, where you have the participants on the lower part of your screen? Yes, I see participant 64. Yes. So, yes. Under that participant, click on that participant. You will see more. Okay, I clicked on it. Yeah, then can you see invite, mute, invite, then, mute me, lower hand? Maybe my what, screen what, is not maximized. No, sir, you can, no, no. can you see the names of the participants? I you just see, see 64. Click on oh, it. Oh, oh, when you click participant, it will yes. show all the names. Yes, click of on those it. register yeah. for this program. Yes. What I in the one I, I attended in the morning, it showed that, but now it's just it's not showing it. No, click participant to show it. Okay, sir. Click it on it. Show, it will yes. show the list of the sixty-four people. Okay, I see. Uh, the you see, invite, mute me, yes. raise hand. Yes, raise hand. Okay. Okay. Invite, mute me, raise hand. Thank you. Uh, so I can raise my hand. hand now. Yes, raise your hand, yes. please. Uh -huh. Yes, thank you. I can see okay. your hand. So thank you very much. See, once we have 60% of the participants raising, because finally we have two, four, six. Hello, doctor. Yes. Hello, doctor. Yes, please. I'm on the Kuwait account page. Correct. And as I'm doing that, it's telling me an error call. And it's not giving you the type of error. No, it's not. Uh, please, kindly refresh that page. Kindly refresh that uh, create account page. Or better still, better still, man. Uh, exit and click on the. You know, after installing, it will have created a shortcut icon yes. on the desktop. Yes. So exit and we are, we are we are so that I can take you back to oh, this your, uh, that okay. account creation. Page. Yeah, from, uh, no. Thank you. You are most welcome. No, the problem. Yeah, then you because yes. you are free to let me know so that we can sort it. Hey, no. Okay, right. Are we making progress? We need more hands, please. More hands. Dr. Koloshi, I can't see your hand here. Most with uh, a valid account already should raise hand so that we can we can uh, progress. Yeah, we know we are talking in 1920. 1920. You think Bomaru, they ever send anything? What is sending? Prof, Pro, uh, Professor, I don't know. I can't see your hand here, sir. There's one I sent. Okay. And I know you have signed it already. So please, let's, have, so that we can have enough. This uh, and this talk. Uh, Akiola, you have not missed so much. You are welcome. So please, yeah. yes. create the, create an account. Okay. And sign into that account so that you can uh, follow the subsequent task. Okay, that we'll be embarking on. Then I can see another account that I just yeah. joined. Please just download the app. And if you have the app already, please open it. On the desktop. The desktop the, 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 the I'm not mentally from Play Store. Yes, okay. from Play Store. If you are using the mobile app. Okay, let me call. If you are using the mobile, if you are using a mobile device, if you are using a tablet. Okay, if I'm using laptop. What about that? If you are using laptop, please go to the 
the early the earlier chat you will see the link to download the desktop version because that oh, is, is on my the chat is on my phone so how do i and how do i click on that on my okay, laptop just, just just on your laptop from your browser just click on mentally download if you okay. have if just from the mentally download in the google search button it will give you a list of results uh, most likely that the first result or the second one will be the the uh, download link result. Then you can click on that and quickly download and install. So okay, you, let me... you can follow up. All right, I think you are having okay. more hands now. Can you can you see me? Uh, hello, sir. Yes, yes, uh, Doctor yeah. Good afternoon. Yes. Welcome. Yes, sir. I came in a bit late, but I was able to get to a point where I now have dual um, uh, presentations here. One from L server, and um, I have one from my desktop, which has taken me up to citation plugin Microsoft installed now. So there is confusion at my end, too many uh, can, options. Can, sir, can you share your screen? Can you just quickly share your screen? Let me see where you are, so that we know the one you need to close. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I can grab my screen. Network. Can you, can you see me? Not yet, sir. Please share your screen, sir. So, uh, yeah. okay, I can see your screen. Yes. Um, you can see that. Okay. No, this is That's... the this is the web page. Yes. Then I have another page from. Let me see the second one. I can only get a that one. Yes. I have this. Yes, this is the right one. This is the oh, desktop. Okay. Page. You said this is the one from desktop. Yes, this is the desktop page. So I this should keep I should keep this. Yes, okay. keep that. But it's telling me to install something here. No, we will install it. We have a shortcut to make all those installations later. Okay. Oh, Dr. Farabi. Yes, Prof. Where he said uh, the first one that he showed. That's where I am. <laughs> so, uh, Prof, you need to be here. Uh, you need to be. Yeah. So how would I now get there? Click on that. You know, you remember that you so downloaded from the this, this, this is the one. Is this where you yes, the one, yes, the one you have shown now, uh, Dr. Weka, that's where yes. I am. What oh. do you do? You no. said get reference manager. What what do I now do? No, bro, go back and and double click on that app on your device, under your tablet. No, no, no. I've shifted to desktop. Okay. If you have shifted to desktop, then yes. uh, download the desktop version. From where I am now, that's what I'm saying. I've gotten to the first page it showed. The okay. one I said, download mainly, access yes. your library on mobile, tablet, desktop, yes. get reference manager. Yes. I've got to that point. From that yes. point now, what you yes. <laughs> It, it do, can you see download uh, the uh, menu? This is showing you any uh, option for downloading of the desktop version. It's an opposite session. Post. Hello, Prof. No, no, no. So no. what I'm but saying. The question is that, I'm asking, Doctor. We have an account, Prof. You know, you know, you know the way it works. By yeah. the virtue of that first signing, you already have an account. Okay. So that account is a, is also web based. Is it has synced to the web, so you don't need to create another account now. But you need the desktop client manager. Okay. So your your laptop is a Windows laptop, right, Prof? 
Yes, my the desktop. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. So let me let me from the chat box you can pick up this download link. I just posted it again. Okay. You posted so, it again. Yes, you... just now. So once you just click on that, it. it okay. Goes, you'll be able okay. to. Uh -huh. You'll be able to. To download the. Uh, yeah. Be able to download the desktop version, Windows version. I think you can disable me from your end. Okay. okay. No, you are already you are you are off, you are off our screen. Okay. Myself. All right. Okay, can we proceed? I think we can proceed. Okay, let's wait for Prof to get the... Okay. Yes, I think Dr. Wika is fine. So, Prof, are you there now? Professor Nubi, are you there? Okay. So we all have an account now. I suppose I think we we have our account already. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. We can hear you, sir. All right. I, I think we we all have uh, accounts now, right? Yes, sir. So, by I'm trying to, Doctor Waker, are you okay now? Hello, Doctor Waker. Dr. Wicker. Hello. Yes. Uh, Are you okay doctor? now? Yes, I can, I can. I'm there. I'm coming. Just yes. Okay. Well, uh, just repeat what you said. Let me come back. I, no, I'm just I, I just want to confirm I just want to confirm that you are okay now. You are still on that page. Yes, I'm on that page. Uh, 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 Prof, Professor Nubi, are you there? Are you there? I 
Are you there, Prof? Hello, Prof. One second, one second. Okay, all right. One second, yeah. Because all I right, saw sir. the icon already on my desktop as e I haven't been done. Excellent. The three, the reddish something. Yes, yes. The red symbol. Excellent. As yes, I have excellent. it already on my desktop, yes. Exactly. So you don't need to create another account. Just sign in with that old account. Okay. So you just put that username and the password. Then it take you to the okay. to the desktop interface. Okay. Hello. Uh, uh, Dr. are you still there? Have you been able to? I can see that you said you are stuck on the signing page. Yes, I've been able. Thank you, sir. I've been able to um, to sign in. Uh, excellent. Thank you. You are most welcome, ma. So please, ma, raise your hand. Raise your hand in the raise of hand so that, because we are putting the raise of hand to vote. Uh, correct. Excellent. I can see that now. So I think once we have one or two additional raise of hands, then we can I've proceed. I have signed it. Yes. So to buy some I need to come here. All right. Yeah. Prof, are you there? I should, yeah, I think I'm there. Okay. So it depends on my ability to do the next thing you say we should do. No, the, the on the on the page you have, it looks like a table. Is it like a table interface? You have the file. You have uh, some set of uh, folders, add folders, view, edit, and all of that. Do you have that? Can you see my screen? Okay, Pro, can you see my screen? Can you see my PowerPoint screen? Okay. Can you can you see my screen? Uh a second. Ca yeah, your screen. He's saying getting started. Is that what it's showing? Can you see the screen? My, own? my PowerPoint screen of getting started. Get is, is that what you are seeing? Why is it not enlarging it? Uh, Dr. Professor, Dr. Fahemi. Yes, sir. yes. Sir, you uh, once you get the sizable number of people, you just go ahead. Oh, well, all right. But uh, okay. but the way this my technology, my office is doing, I have okay. people they are trying to support me, but it's like we are not making way. So I don't want to disturb. I will just follow what you are doing and uh, okay. probably. I will catch up with you on the okay. course of it. So we okay. can just because of uh, we okay. should be conscious of uh, that people are burning data. Okay. All right. So let's let's proceed. I think that's excellent. Okay. So we should. My expectation is that. Hello. Can you hear me? Somebody is trying to say something. Hello, sir. Yes, please. I have the Mendeley icon on my laptop already, and I've opened it. Yes. Do I have to be connected to internet to operate this? Like, does my system have to be connected to the internet? Yes, I need you to connect to the internet, because some of the features that you want to explore requires internet connection. So, my, uh, the information I'm having here is that Mendeley desktop was unable to connect with your accounts as Mendeley.com. Please check your username and password. So how do I go Are about you, that? Have you created an account before now? Yes. And can you remember that username and password that you used? Wow, well, I'll check it out. I'll, I'll check whether I go. OK, because we need that. OK. So, Thank you. 
can we see the my the PowerPoint of uh, of the desktop interface? Can we see the desktop interface on my screen? Hello. I want to be sure yes, that you are, you are seeing what I want you to see. The PowerPoint title, the desktop interface, is that what you are seeing? No. We are still seeing getting started. Okay, you are seeing getting started. All right. Let me duplicate the screen because I have an extended screen. So let me exit the extended screen. I was using the extended screen to attend to, to all the, the previous complaints. Okay. Dr. Farid. Okay, yes, Prof. So when I got to Menli, he was telling me that I have my two papers. You have? My two papers in this uh, Menli something. Oh, it's possible, it's possible. But and so do, what do I now do? Do you have, but can you see this interface? I need everybody to be at this particular point on the desktop interface. Will you share it so that I can be live? Uh, that's what I'm sharing. Can you see my uh, shared screen now? Your face is bigger than what you are sharing. Really? Uh, <laughs> All right, let me, let me change the display setting. Okay. All right. Is it bigger now? Not really. Okay, it's getting bigger. Okay, where it is written interface, uh, the desktop interface. I yes. Mean. So can we see that now? So uh, this is what we need. We those of us that have signed in, we will see that what we have is similar to what I have here. The no, is it similar or what, what? Must we have the same thing? No, depending on prop, depending on whether you are on a mobile app or on a desktop. Okay. The desktop interface is different from the mobile interface. I am now on a desktop. So you should see a replica of this. I've seen it. No, no, I've not seen it. It's not showing desktop interface. Whatever anybody sees must show no, desktop. You, the, the title, the title won't be there. But it's going to show Mendeley Desktop. Mendeley Desktop. Mendeley Desktop. Then you can see Mendeley. You see literature search. You see my library. You can see all documents. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, recently see that, added. Favorites. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Recently added. Recently yes. read. Right. Need, my need, publication. Need review. Yeah. My publications. Are you there, Prof? Yeah, I'm there, but I. What should I click on? No, just there. Just I just want you to be there. Yes, I've seen Medley reference reference manager. On top of it, I see Medley library. Then yes. under the library, I see all references recently added. Yes. Recently read. Wave rights. Yes. My publications. Yes. Yes. Okay. Collections. New collection. Private groups. Yes. Yes. So. If we are all here, I think we are, we are good to go. So I'm going to exit the PowerPoint now so that I will go to the real Mendeley, uh, inter, my own Mendeley desktop interface for us to continue the conversation. So let me exit the PowerPoint. I think for now, the PowerPoint can go on vacation. So yeah, this is my... Oh, can you see? So you should have exactly what I have here. Are you still seeing my screen? Yes. Yes. 
So you should have exactly what I have. Menu the desktop, the menus are file, edit, view, to help. Yes. Is this fine? So the only Maybe. difference is that- it's not, not populated. populated. Yes, it's not populated yet. So we now go to, we now go to, we, so we've done two things. We've been able to accomplish two of our objectives. We've been able to download, we've installed, and we've created an account, a Mendeley account. So we want to set up the Mendeley library. That is the second or the third objective. We want to actually set up the library. I mentioned earlier that Mendeley is a virtual library. It's just like the physical library. So when you have the physical library, you stock it with books, with journals, with magazines, depending on the resources that you actually need to aid your work. So it is similar with Mendeley. So once you are here, you have a library, but the difference is your library may not have content. So there are different ways by which content can be brought into Mendeley. So the first one that I'll be talking about is the literature search. Right on top, just under this Mendeley, you see literature, literature search. Yes. And that's where my mouse is, literature search. Can we all see where my cursor is? Can you see my mouse? Yeah, well. Right? We can so, see it. Yes, we can I see it. I want everybody to click on that. Please just click on it. Click on that literature search. Of your own. No, of your own, Prof. Of your own. Everything I'm doing now, you'll be doing your own. So okay. you're going to be doing whatever I'm doing on, the, on your own device. So have you clicked on the literature search? Yeah, it came out with the magnifying lens. Yes, correct. So you will see the magnifying lens on the right. Yeah. On, on the, the left. right of that. Is it left for you? For me, it's right. The little right, is on the left. left. Mine is on the right. So that's why I said it depends whether you are using, depending on the device. So this literature okay. search, you see, ideally in research, let's look at it from the point of research. If you, if, as a researcher, if you are investigating a problem, there are ideas, there will obviously be ideas, thematic areas that you want to explore. For example, let's say we want to explore, I, I want to look for something that is uh, pretty universal. Let's say maybe the recent uh, COVID-19, you know, what is trending now is COVID-19, right? So in that search, please type in COVID-19. COVID-19 into your own search button, COVID-19. So you enter, just click enter. Mm. You can see Oscar a, list of, a list of literature on yeah. COVID-19. And you know, you know one good thing about Mendeley, one major advantage of Mendeley is that it prioritize the search. So it's probably going to search from credible sources. Wow. As against searching from uh, predatory databases. So the first thing is that when you use the literature search, you are likely going to have research results from credible sources, essentially from Scopus, because most of those results will be from Elsevier database. Right, are we following? Yes, sir, we're following. Fine, so depending on what you have in mind, you know, several things have uh, been brought out from the search results with respect to COVID-19, depending on what I want to investigate. If I'm trying to write an introduction, for example, I may want to actually look for materials that gives- Mine is not bringing out any results for COVID-19. It's saying no result found. It's not possible, man. Are you connected to the internet? Yes. 
It's not, please, type it again. I even typed another thing before. It didn't bring out anything. So I decided to type COVID-19. Still, it's not bringing out anything. No okay. results found. One question, man. Look at, can you see my mouse? Can you see my mouse? Yes. Look, look at the way my mouse is going. Can you see the way it's going? You, you realize that my mouse is going to, towards the right. Okay. Sorry, one minute. One minute, please. You know, uh, I just want to take a break. Since the beginning of this session, I've been on Jen. So, yeah, you have tried, though. Sorry, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So let me just <laughs> let me uh, let me change you back to PACN. <laughs> okay, well done, sir. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, thank you. So sorry, you know. I, I expected it that he was going to do that. So, sorry, let me just put on the bigger monitor so that I can see everybody. So, madam, can you see? Can you see my? Can you see my cursor? I can't see it again. What? what are, can you see it now? No, it's okay. not moving. Okay. Hello, hello, Prof. Doctor Faremi. Yes, I'm Prof. already. Um, I've gotten all those material under COVID nineteen. Okay, so I'm just trying to. We we are trying to pick one person that is behind. So huh? we are just trying to attend to someone that is saying that there is no okay. result okay. under COVID nineteen. So, madam, can you see the course now? Because yeah, no. my, my screen share is active now. I can see your screen share, but I can't see your cursor. Uh, the mouse, the mouse cursor again. Can you see it now? I understand. I can't see it. Where, where, can't where see are you? It's on the top right. Okay, look at the top right of your screen. The top the right board. of the top right of your screen. Can you see your name? Yes, I can. You can see your name. Yes. So it should give you results. I can see my name. So it should it should give you results because all the results all the results are supposed to it's supposed to give you a replica of what we have on the screen. Oh. Please try it again. So let's go. Let's move on. Please try it again. So if we look at all of these, for example, I was saying. If I'm writing on, uh, maybe if I want to write an introduction. So I'll, I'll, I'll look critically at the sources of this information. For example, I want to pick this, the COVID-19 epidemic, right? And I can see the author, or I can come here and, and look at the World Health uh, Organization Journal for COVID-19. Can we? Can you see my mouse? Can others see my mouse? Yeah. You can see this cursor, right? I so if we click on, let's double click on that. Double click on that. Double click on COVID nineteen. W H O. COVID nineteen. COVID nineteen. Yes, COVID nineteen. COVID nineteen. So it's going to, the, uh, another dialog box is going to pop up by the side, under yes. the details. Yes. Are we there? Yes, we've seen it. All right. So on, under that details, under that uh, dialog box, you can see view research catalog entry for this paper. Can you see the view research catalog where my cursor is? Yes. All right. So. If you click on that, if you click on that, it's going to take you to the material itself. Oh. Hmm. Quite interesting. Yeah. So it will take you straight to, to the material. So 
That's what I have done. So he's trying. So please click on yours too. Yes, Doctor Fire, me, me, I see. Fine. I'm fine. So zero five zero two. Ah, please ref, uh, click on it again. That is internet uh, internet issue. Doctor Fire, me. Yes, bro. We have a problem here. I don't know. So what the did this? Page, the page oh, I nice. opened to. Yes. I have my name on top, like you are saying. Yes. Yes. Then I have search box underneath it. Yes. Then the left side where you saw search the, for the right side. Okay. The, the right side. Yes, bro. I only have the library there, and after the library, I have notebook. So, oh. yes. Bro, can you see my mouse? Yeah, I've seen I, your mouse. Look at, can you, is it showing mentally? No. I didn't even get to where you go to. That is the Wahala. Probably yeah. on the web. Pro, pro, there are two versions of that your account. There okay. The desktop version, there is the web version. Web version? Yes, web so the version. The one I have. Okay, so I'm in the wrong one. I suspect you are in the web version. Okay. And this, so I have to this, go back. Yes, please. I need you to be on this desktop version because yeah. the reasons are obvious. This desktop version yeah. is the version that helps you to work mm -hmm. offline, remotely. Mm -hmm. Okay. So even okay. when you are not connected to the internet, it doesn't you stop you. You can work. Okay. Yeah, but you said you are read and annotated offline. No, don't mind, don't mind that, that one. Oh, I need you to, I need you to be here. Uh, okay, so we have to go back so and start on that desktop, back. Prof. On that desktop, I, there is a shortcut. There is a shortcut on your desktop. Okay. Once you click on that desktop, the that desktop icon is going to ask you to sign in. Then there is a small uh, checkbox to that will ask you that do you want to stay signing you will say yes so that it won't be signing you out Enter your because you don't you don't actually need the software to sign out because it's a tool that you always need so then if you sign in it should take you to this page you, you we should be on abstract, the abstract. okay so we can see this particular material so this has taken me to uh, the, the journal page. Yeah. Now, there are two things. If you look at this particular journal. Hello, sir. Hello, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Dr. Faremi. Yes, Prof. It's OK. You are now COVID-19, 19, Abby. Yes, COVID-19, yes. COVID-19. With the abstracts. Yes. Yes, with the abstract, yes. It's okay. Now, because I have it, it you we so I have seen this material. Now I have preference because as a researcher, I want to actually assess or reference literature that I can keep. This particular COVID nineteen, COVID nineteen. Though it has been tried to be a journal article, I can't see the PDF version. Okay. Are you following, sirs? I'm Yes, sir. So this this particular one, I I, I will discard it. Okay. Do you understand now? I will discard it and go back to my Mendeley. You know, there are several of them, right? Okay. Now, let's look at this other one, the COVID-19 epidemic. Okay. One, two, three, four, the fifth one. Yes, the fifth one. So if I click on that one. Are you there? 
the COVID-19 epidemic. Yes. Right? Now, the same thing that we did the last time, let's view the research catalog entry for, for that uh, particular work or that particular literature. So please click on that view catalog to take you back to the browser to bring up the literature. Now, no literature here. No, click on it. It is there. View one. Is are you there? Given, it's given us uh, the COVID nineteen epidemic. Author supply keywords references. Yes, exactly. So, sir, if you look at this, you realize that this one has one one of the the primary criteria for me and that I'm I'm trying to advocate is that you must be able to see the material. Look at can you see view PDF? View PDF. Where is that? It's just uh, under the COVID nineteen epidemic. You have the authors. You have the name of the uh, journal. Journal. Then you the, have the DOI. Then you have yes. the library. Then you have view PDF. Uh, just beside the art to library. Maybe it's still opening. Do you have anybody library. having the same screen as I do? I don't have art to the library. Hello, Dr. Faremi. Prof, sir. Now, uh, where I am, the COVID-19 epidemics. Yes. Where we have the PDF. Be yes. Then the reference. Yes, Something we have like we have the PDF. We have uh, one hundred and eighty citations. Yes, and uh, two thousand four hundred pictures. Uh huh. I I didn't see PDF. Reclick, sir. Reclick. I go back. Yes, it may be a network issue. So, can you see it now, sir? I saw, okay, at the top, mainly article open access, COVID 19 yes. epidemic. Yes. The authors, then yes. tropical medicine and international, then yes. digital object identifier. Yes. Then you can then see the, the library and I didn't see that. I didn't ah. see how to library. Yeah. Can you imagine? Please, can others see this? I, I can see, I can see how to library. I can see yeah. it's clear. Yes, both how to library and view PDF. Yes, yes, I can see that. I can oh. see that too. I cannot uh, see it uh, whether because I'm signed in or. I yes, still. I can see. I can see out to library. Or do we have to sign in? No, I'm not even signing. You see that I'm not signing. Can you see that I'm not, I'm not signing? Yes, sir. You can see that I'm not signing. Yes, sir. Out to library. You are. You don't need signing. I don't see out to library there. Is there on the article? When you get to the article. Okay, you know what? You know what, sir? It's fine. If you cannot see out to library. Click on the DOI. Okay. Yeah. Click on the DOI. That's another. Yes. That's another option. Click on. I'm the on the same page with uh, Doctor Fo. Yes. What What I'm seeing is uh, open access. Uh, yes. Doctor Oweka. Yes. Click on the DOI. Click on the DOI. Okay. All right. Okay. Have you clicked on yeah, the DOI? Yeah. Yes, now, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, well, either you yeah, click on the DOI yeah. or you yes. I never see, I never see. So, if either I, now, you click on the DOI or you view PDF, it's going to open the material. No, I, I now see the PDF tools share. Exactly. So now, it's now that he's asking me to sign in. Okay. Right. So if I go back,
I'm trying to go back and I click on the DOI. I want I want those of you that can see the view and the DOI option to do the same. So if I click on the DOI, yes. it will take me to the material. If I click yes. on view PDF, it will require that you sign in if you are not signing. Okay. I see PDF tools, then share. Exactly. So that material, you can actually pre-read, right? You can see the details of, uh, of the journal. And you can actually download it. Okay. So, and you realize that this is going to actually support whatever you want to, whatever introduction you are trying to write extensively. And you okay. are sure that is from a Bible source. Source, okay. Ah, Dr. Faremi. Present, man. Are we left COVID-19, COVID-19? Since. Yes. We left COVID-19, COVID-19 since. So we are now on COVID-19 epide epidemic. epidemic. Bless you. Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So, uh -huh. Please, quickly catch up with us. All right. Thank you. All right, you are welcome. So now, if you are there, we can download. Let's download the PDF. Okay. So you can click on the EPDF. Download it. Great. So that's very fast. So now I'm downloading mine. Pages two seven eight Download to two okay. eighty. Pages two seven eight to exactly. two eighty. Now we are going to use that uh, as a demo. Okay. I'm trying to download mine. Now, what you do as probably a researcher or as a research student is for you to have a very, very big pool, uh, a, a very, very big folder. You see, what, what I did, I'm going to make a little digression. For, our, for those of us that have a Gmail account, I'm sure most of us have Gmail accounts. If you don't have, I will strongly encourage you to open one. Gmail account too is free. Uh, Mendeley is free also. So please open a Gmail account. If you open a Gmail account, then your Gmail account comes with 15 gig free uh, cloud storage, 15 gigabytes free cloud storage for each Gmail account is free. Right. But our Unilog account is Gmail now. Ah, well, I'm talking about private Gmail account. You know, institution, institution account have some, there are some. Okay, another Gmail account. Yes, another Gmail account. You know the reason being that okay, okay. institution accounts have some controls. So some of those controls, okay. they, as good as they are, they limit some things. So... I'm talking about the conventional, the open Gmail account. Open so, Gmail account, okay. Yes, with, with the free Gmail account with your, maybe for example, I have juliusfaremi at gmail.com. With that, my juliusfaremi at gmail.com, I have 15 gig of cloud storage free, given to me uh, by Google, right? So that Gmail account also comes with several Google products that are add-on. They are add-on products that Google gives to every Gmail account. It's by default. So some of those uh, products is, uh, is the Google Meet, for example. You have the Google Meet, yes. the Google Classroom, the Google Do, all of yes. that. But in yes. this case, for the purpose yes. of research, the one that I want to emphasize is the Google Drive. Uh, okay, I'll call you, I'll 
there is the Google Drive. So most times you can actually create a folder in your Google Drive and begin to put all this your literature in there. So what that does for you is that Apart from the fact that your literature is being secured on the Mendeley desktop and the web version, you also have the physical, the other, uh, like a backup in Google Drive. So for example, I want to open my folder. That, if you open your own folder, if you click download, you will see the material that we just downloaded. You know, your, the, this uh, COVID-19 epidemic literature is in the download. So I will strongly advise that you just create another folder in your Google Drive. You can see my Google Drive on my left hand, or the left hand side of my system. So, but if yours is not there, just put it, you can even still leave it in the download folder for now. But it's always good for us to have all this literature uh, arranged in, uh, in folders. So, for example, if I'm to open a folder now, I'll just name it COVID-19. So, everything that I'm going to be downloading with respect to COVID-19, I'll put it there. So, if that is clear, I'll download as many materials that as possible, maybe um, 5, 10, to uh, afford me the opportunity of seeing different uh, write-up with respect to COVID-19, right? What people have done, existing study with respect to COVID-19 with a view to probably uh, enhance my conceptualization of whatever I want to do and to also give me uh, an insight with respect to areas of gap that I can actually explore because since that is actually the motive uh, of research. So you can download. So if it is also possible that you click on all of these things and you are not satisfied with what you are uh, getting. For example, you know, the first, the COVID-19, COVID-19 didn't come with uh, the PDF material attached. So I had to go back. So you do that and you can also load more. There are tons, thousands of resources within the Elsevier database, thousands, hundreds of thousands of resources. So it will always give you several things. So once that is done, we now come back. So I want to, I want to exit here so that we can go back to, so to exit what we have there, please, can you see my cursor? Can you see my mouse? Please, can you see my mouse? Yes. So, uh, let me give you, let me also, let me also share a trick with you. So, anytime you click on a material, anytime you click on a material from here, if you are doing this literature search from Mendeley, for every literature search that you cannot find the catalog IDs, if the catalog IDs are not populated, don't even bother, just go and click on something else. You understand? You need the catalog IDs, either the digital object identifier, the DOI, or ISSN, or the PMID. If this information are not available, don't, just don't bother yourself. Just go, for example, let's go back to that COVID-19, COVID-19. If you look at COVID-19, can you see DOI, nil, PMID, nil, uh, ask, uh, 14 ID, nil. Do you understand what I'm saying now? Hello, do you, can you hear me? Yes, yes sir, we can hear you. Yes, we yes, understand. Get those I hear you. So it won't waste your time. You understand? If I click on, if I click Yes, on we understand. Now, if I click on this now, I can, I can go further to look at the material in the view research you, uh, catalog entry because I have the catalog IDs. Do you understand it now? So once that is done, please look at this, my mouse. I want to close here. Can you see there is a small arrow? There is a small triangular arrow, very, very small. Can you see it? 
where my cursor, look at where my cursor is. Can you see this small triangular arrow? Hello, can you see my cursor? Yes, we can see yes. that. So click on that, it will return, it will return that details uh, pane. It will take it off. Then I will also come to this, my search button and close it. So then I can go back to my life. What is, what is the small arrow? Is to close the details pane. The details what is it? Can, can I see the small arrow again, sir? Okay, let's go back to COVID-19 search. If I click on, uh, we did COVID-19 okay. epidemic. Okay. Can you see? Yeah. Yes. So is the details pane, the details page. So to close it, you just click on that Hide that rule. Can you see? Uh, I, it, I maybe it was too fast for me. Okay, I see this. Can you see? Is then we go to the details. Yes. Then okay. Just, just at the border line. At the border okay. line, is just midway. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So midway, you can. You can use that midway arrow to actually close. Okay, it okay, and go back to where you are from. Yes, to where you came from. Now, the next thing, hello, I, I, yes. I, I think uh, we may need to have a part two of this uh, session. I'm not sure, yeah. but let's just see how far how fast we can go. But are we following? Yes, we are. Yes, yes. we are following. Uh huh. Right. So the next thing we need to do, the, or I want to show us, is that because we first of all need to populate the library. Before you begin to write, the first thing is to actually build up a library to consult literature. So and that is what so that is one way the literature says one of the ways of doing that. The second the second way is that it is not all materials that are in journal form. There are some materials that are in report form. There are some that are in a technical paper, submission form, and all of that. Because it's also it's, it's possible for you to search here and not really find enough information as you desire. So there is, you come under this, there is another thing I'm taking you to now. Under this menu, can you see the menu where you have file, edit, view, tools? Yes, sir. yes, yes. Right. If you click on tools, click on your tools. The tools yep. will open another conversation box, a drop down menu. Yep. Invite colleagues, install web importer. Get correct. So install so MS Word. God bless you. In fact, that's where I'm going to. So there are two things that you're going to do there. The first thing is that please, if you have your Microsoft Word. Uh, document any Microsoft Word document That's... open at all. Please close it now. Any Microsoft Word document, if you have it open, please close it. But if there is no Word document opened on your system, you are good to go. So you first of all go to that third okay. one. Okay. Third one should be install MS Word plugin. Install MS Word plugin. Or uninstall. No, if you have it already, it will show uninstall. For example, it's because okay. I have that why it's asking me to uninstall. The moment it shows uninstall, that means it's already installed. Okay, my screen uninstall. Yeah. Uh -huh. So once you, if it, if it shows you uninstall, that means it's already installed. So we'll come back to that later. So for all other participants that don't have the Microsoft uh, plugin, please quickly mm -hmm. just click on it. It's just it's it, it, it very fast. It won't take yeah, time. I'm at work. Yeah. Are you I there? The the are you there? Participants, please, if you are not talking, can you unmute? We are hearing some background noises and conversations. Thank you. Are we on the same page now? Thank you, Dr. Yalowo. Are we on the same page? Yes, sir. Yes, right. sir. Excellent. So then we'll now come back to the second one. 
because I just want us, because of time, I want us to use one stone to fill two boards. So click on this install web importer. Okay. If you click on that, it's going to open, it's going to take you to your browser. Where, where did we click on? Okay. Install web importer. Just on top of that, under the tools menu, you know you have, you've installed Same. the Microsoft. Have you seen it? You know you have the Microsoft uh, plugin uh, installed. Then I want you to install the what you yeah. see that, which is the web importer. Dr. Faremi, on yes, my yes. own desktop, it says save us. I think there's um, a save under us the tools. Is it under the tools? After I clicked on uh, install web importer, yes. then it showed a save as uh, exactly. that, that and then the browser. Yes, your browser is uh, it's another version. There are some browsers that we show. That means you are not using Google Chrome. No, it's automatically coming to, I think, Firefox also. Okay, okay. Mm, it so, is open. Cool. Okay. Uh, maybe later you can change to Chrome because I Chrome is uh, is much is friendlier, but it's fine. That save us will also work. It's also uh, one of the ways some of the browsers work with uh, the Mendeley web importer. So now, but Technically, what happens is that it takes you to your browser. So like uh, Dr. Yalowa rightly said, some browsers will have savers. You will see the icon for savers. But for others, it will ask you to add uh, Mendeley to your uh, web uh, plugin. So now, in my case, or in the case of some other browsers, it will take you, it will ask you to add. I have done, I have installed mine. And that's why I can see the icon here. If you have not installed, it will give you the option. If you are using Google Chrome, it will take you to the Google Chrome store and ask you to add the uh, Mendeley Web Importer as an extension to Chrome. You will approve or you will agree to that then you can see the icon here. Can you all, we need to all do that. Can you see the icon? Yes. Yes, we can. Uh, fine. So what this does, before we leave here, what this does is this. Let's assume that I'm not searching, you know, I've shown you, I've shown you I said there are several ways by which the library can be populated. So I've shown you one from the literature search within Mendeley itself, right? That is one approach. So you just type in your keyword or your theme and it will give you a list of uh, resources that correspond to that, right? That is option number one. I'm going to be discussing three, basically three options. Option two is the use of this web importer, in which case you are not searching from, it could, it could even be, you may even be out of Mendeley. Maybe you are just doing a casual online search and you come across something that is of interest to you. So those are instances where the web importer is very, very important. And you're like, oh, and this will help me. For example, let's say the same COVID-19. So and I do a search on a new tab. So you can just do a search, just Google search, the normal Google search tab. Sorry, Dr. Farabi, please, yes, before we go on, can you hear me, please? Yes, I can. Okay, when I click the, this, this web importer, yes, it gives me a page of two columns. That is a, on the left column, say get web importer from Chrome. Yes. Then there is the other half, say add to Mendeley. No, get get web importer for Chrome. 
That is when I will click. Yes. I should click it now. Yes, click on it now, sir. Okay, sir. Sorry, Dr. Farabi. Yes, please, ma. Will it be only for Chrome? It's giving me the one for Edge. Yes, now, go ahead. Okay. You know, I've said Edge, Safari, Firefox, okay. Chrome. So okay. Depending on your, on your browser. I mm -hmm. clicked it. Yes. It should take you to the Chrome store. Yes. Yes. So you, you are going to see Add uh, Mendeley Web Importer as extension to Chrome. Uh, not seen that it should well. be there. You will see a, a plus sign to, uh, that is going to ask you for you to add it as an extension. I have it a question, in, sir. It was in the former page. As an extension? It just a plus. Yes, as an extension. You need to, sorry, uh, madam, I'm going coming to take your question. You yes, might, sir. You will see it as an extension, sir. So when you click on that, did it take you to the Chrome store? It took me to Chrome store and there were windows flashing past. Did you see the Mendeley uh, web importer among the list of uh, apps? Uh, sorry, uh, before I clicked on get web importer for Chrome, yes, I see on the second half of that page, plus add yes. to Mendeley. No, that's not what you want to do. You want okay. to, you see, that Chrome has a store too. The, okay. In that store, there is the Mendeley Web Importer. Like, it's an app. Okay. It's like, it's a, yeah, small, I see it. it's a sub app. Uh -huh. So, I see it. To, so, in front of it, it's going to, you will see add to Chrome extension. It's going to give you, you, you are going to see that his own option is not going to be downloaded. It's going to be, because it's, an, it's a plugin. So, it's going to ask you to add it. What do you find in front of it? What is, what is it showing? Say fast, convenient, import, blah, blah, blah. So, then there are windows flashing past. Windows. I see web, web, mainly, okay, that, I see add references to your mainly library. Mm -mm. I'm coming. Let me, let me go to my, let me go to my, yes, madam, somebody call. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm, I want to open my store. I want to open my own uh, Chrome store. I'm listening to you, ma'am. Yes, sir. Um, I can see I use Safari. Okay. I'm using a Mac. Yes. I can see, I don't know which one is best. Is it the one for Chrome or the one for Edge? That, uh, if, if both is showing, then pick the one for Chrome. Okay, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. Yes. You are most welcome. So, uh, I'm trying to open, you, you can see that I'm trying to open my own web, web uh, importer, the web store. So, you can see, can you see my screen, sir? Uh, my, my, my screen, my screen is, is shared. Okay, I see, before that, I see add to Chrome, somewhere there. Okay, let me For come you, back to your... Let me come back because to Because you your... can see that because it's already added, it's showing me added. You you need to see this Mendeley Web Importer offered by uh, www.mendeley.com. Wow. Well, well, From the Chrome Mendeley Web, Web Store. Importer. Yes. I see the, offered by, yes, uh, this, this, so this, this, click yes. Click on it. Click on it. Click on it. On offered by. No, click on that. Click on the icon. The icon itself, the Mendeley Web Importer, the icon. There is a but spell ahead. It's not showing it could be clicked on. Ah. <laughs> what I see next to it is to its right is add to Chrome. Yes, that's it. Add to Chrome. I should click on add click to on Chrome. It. Yes, add to Chrome, sir. Okay. It says checking now. Yeah. Uh -huh. So are we all there? Do we all have the uh, web importer? Clarification, sir. Hello, yes, I'm with you. I'm with yes, you. sir. 
Um, I find that on the Safari, it wants me to download Chrome, even though I already have Chrome. So I don't know how to reconcile that. It could be that the Chrome is not up to date. It so that, that I... Updated, yes. So, okay, I, so I, should I... I... That, yes, please download it. That's okay, most sir. likely the challenge. Maybe it's not okay. updated. Okay, sir. All right. So, Dr. Afolayo, are you there? Yeah, I now see a place where I see add extension. Yeah, exactly. Console. So, add extension. Okay. So, up we all of well, most of us are there. So, if we are there, then we can come back to I, when you are done. When you are done, you will see the icon. If you are using Chrome, for example. You see the icon for the mainly web importer. Give me a report, sir. Okay, what is the report? That mainly web importer has been added to Chrome. So you should see it. Can you see it to the right of your set? Yes, now? that has been added to Chrome. Exactly. Use this so, extension by clicking on this icon or by pressing Control Shift S. Exactly. So. So if, for example, maybe I was just doing a casual search, right? And yeah. I come across, uh, for example, maybe um, NDDC, uh, NCDC report. But you know, like, le let me look at uh, NCDC, for example. Let me click on NCDC. So let's say I have information here on, uh, let's look at, uh, let me look for, I'm trying to look for something. Let's assume that I want to look at something for, on one of the guidelines. So this is the guidelines for, from NCDC. Are you there? Are you following me? I'm listening, sir. Yeah. So this guideline, for example, I probably won't find it in uh, their literature search in Mendeley, right? Okay. Because this is actually domesticated for the control of a uh, infection in Nigeria, right? Mm -hmm. So, and I know that this is also very, very useful. So what do I do? Probably I've scanned through, I realized that there are actually sections that I need to reference and that is very, very important to my work. So with my web importer, I can actually get this material. So what do I do? I'll click on the, while the page is open, I'll click on the Mendeley web importer. Okay. So open a typical page and you will see when you click on your web importer, it's going to give you, it's going to pull the details of that, uh, of that particular publication. Can you see infection prevention and control recommendations during healthcare when COVID-19 infection is suspected? So, and you can see it. It says uh, it's it has pulled the details of the of the source and the time that it was assessed, the date of uh, assessing the report. So I can add this, but before I add this, I'm going to and I have said it to add the PDF if available. Obviously, it's going to download the material itself. Do you understand? And it's going to take it straight to my to my Mendeley library. Are you following? We're trying to. Please, I need you to follow. Because once we are, at least, we were able to follow the literature search option. The web importer option is also as important as the literature search. Dr. Faremi. Yes, Prof. 
you know, I had problem with my connection, so I, 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 I was disconnected for about 10 minutes or 15. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, what I have on my page here yes. is the literature search option. So, how do I get to the website option? Good, Prof. Now, but Prof, hope you are on the desktop version now. Yes, yes, yes. Fine, great. So, let yes. me pull up. So, let because up. the... From the literature search option, yes. I was able to type COVID nineteen, and I got exactly what you got. Uh huh. So, so Prof, we should, yes, that, that's perfect. So you see this menu on the menu from the menu field, we have file, edit, view, and tools. Together, mm. also with help, we have help. But under the tools, can you see the tools? Is it written? Where is that? Just directly just, under the Mendeley desktop. You know, the first thing you have on that page is Mendeley desktop. Okay, Mendeley desktop. Five yes. edit view to help. Yes. Okay, exactly, prop. So under the tools, yeah. please click on the tools, prop. Okay, I see invite colleague, Great. install web importer, Great. install MS Doc plugin. Yes, option. Great. So the first thing, prop, please close all Word document on your system ensure that none of the word document is open yeah i don't have any all right so click on the install ms word plugin that's what we first of all did click on install, install ms word plugin. word plugin yes it's okay. a one-off thing once you do it is done you don't need to do it again yes so it is yes so it's informing it is it's installed it's, yes it's installed fine so just, okay. before the, just before the install MS Word plugin, you have install web importer. Install web importer. Web importer. That's the one that precedes the install. I should MS go plugin. back to tools. Yes, yes. Sorry. Go back to tools. In click on and the then do install web importer. Yeah, exactly. So click on install web okay. importer. Okay. Okay, it has done that. All right. So I mean, on that page, yes. where is me add to Medley or what? Add, uh, it, your browser is your browser Chrome or Edge or what? What? What's your browser? Is it oh, Google? I think my browser is a uh, Internet Explorer. Great Edge. So it's going mm. to give you. Did it give you the option of? Uh, okay, problem. Tell me the option is giving you. No, on, on this page, page, on the on this page that I am now, yes, he's telling me mainly reference manager, research work, data sets, career funding, mainly reference manager. Those who are under the search option. Okay, because I need I need I need it to be able to uh, give you an option to add. And on, under the search bar, did you see anything like uh, save to Mendeley? Did you show anything like save to Mendeley? Yeah, I have, I have a white something there, box here, where it said add to Mendeley. Select or add to Mendeley. Okay, yes, yes. Add to Mendeley. Click on the add to Mendeley. Okay. No, it, it's not. It's not an active icon so it's not a okay because it's not responding because sometimes yeah uh, for internet explorer the compatible explorer is explorer 10 or more okay. recent version so we we need to be sure okay. that what, what about what about the red something is showing that get web importer for edge exactly please click on that Okay. Get web importer for edge. Okay. Yes, it's trying to open. Okay. It has opened that now. Okay. So there is a there is a, something that I said get though. Okay. Yeah. No, I can't I can't click on it. So on that page, okay. It's a three point uh, four fashion policy, okay. this and that. Okay. Most recent ad view, this and that. Okay. Start rating it up to 45. So, what should I do with that page? That page is not still showing you uh, any button for you to click on to add the web importer to. Funny enough, 
the one that he says get when i put it there it will show to red that you can't click okay obviously because the, the that edge needs to be updated updated do you have do you have prop there is another option do you have the chrome on your system google chrome no, except i go to import that term hello please can i come in yes please yes I say, please, it will tell you that your is, is not allowing it. You have to click that install anyway. So if you click that, it will it to import it. Did you say anything? About that? If to you click it, that, that, what it tells me here is that to install extension, you need the new Microsoft Edge. Exactly. Okay. So and I said I should download the new Microsoft Edge. Yes. So oh. you can download that. Prof, let's download it. It uh, okay. is an update uh, issue. Okay. Yes. Mm. Okay. It asks me to download to Windows 10. Yes. Thank you. Your download, your download will begin shortly. So I click wrong. You can continue okay. with other, with others. So. Okay. <laughs> So when you, once you are able to catch up, then I will catch up with you. Yes, ahead. thank you. Thank All you. right, you are welcome, bro. So you can see for those of us that have been able to uh, have something from the NCBC uh, web page, you can see that it's already it has pulled it up, right? So then I want to. It's going to show for. Those of us that just opened uh, a new library, they just created an account. If you click on this arrow down, the first arrow, the, you know, under the web importer, there's actually a bar, a rectangular bar. That bar shows all the folders that are existing within your Mendeley library. So, Sorry, Dr. Farabi. Yes. Sorry, sir. How did you get to that NCDC something? I, I typed in, I just did a quick search. I said uh, COVID-19. I just said... Uh, where did you do that? Just in Google. Okay, normal Google. Normal Google. So, you know, so what, I should... brought, what brought us here... <laughs> let me do a recap. What brought us here is that sometimes you are just doing casual search. You understand? And you yes that are of interest to your research work. Okay. You that is not yes. in your Mendeley uh, literature search. You know, that Mendeley literature search is actually done consciously. Sometimes yes. you are in casual uh, reading and you come across something that is in, of interest and you want to take that into your... Uh, Mendeley. Like, like Mendeley. Your basket, yeah. But, so that is where your... Uh, Web importer is very, very useful. So I said, okay. let's assume that I was just doing a casual uh, search on COVID-19. You understand? I just, I just typed in COVID-19 into Google. So I was able to do literature search. So when, yes. I, when I typed in COVID-19 into Google, what, what happened mm. was that it gave me Back different things about COVID-19. And one of them happened to be the Nigerian Center for Disease Control web page. Okay. I, I, yes. That was the first one. So I said, oh, okay, these are our own. I want to write about COVID-19 issues in Nigeria. There's no mm. way I won't have to cite things from the oh. NCDC, for example. Yes. Uh, and yes. it's most likely that if I limit my search to that literature uh, search of uh, Medley. Medley. You may not I get Nigeria. I, I won't get it. Okay. So I now click yes. on the NCDC. And I saw, it took me to their own page and quite, there, there were quite a number of things there. You understand? That's the screen I'm sharing now. Several things. Okay. And I now okay. picked on one of them. I saw this COVID-19 guidelines for healthcare workers. Maybe I want to write on a resumption of a, a offices or factories. I'm a construction person or site. And I'm interested in the use of uh, PPEs and all of that. So I clicked on that guideline. You understand? Yes. And my, that guideline took me to another tab that opened this uh, guideline in PDF format. Are you there? 
Are you following? I'm following. Look. All right. So, sorry, sorry. Yes, could, sir. could we look at it from where you typed? NC, did you type NCDC I on typed Google? In COVID so I COVID typed in COVID-19. COVID-19, yes. Okay. COVID when you type in COVID-19, it gives, yes. yeah, it, it gives a... Uh, Results. Results result. of COVID-19. And because yes. the browser recognizes that I'm searching from maybe Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah, there is even COVID-19-19, which we searched for earlier on. Uh -huh. So you will see the NCDC uh, web guidelines. Can you, can you see the web, yes. web page? Just the web page, the website. Uh, Have you seen the website? It showed, I think that website was my own number one result also. It say NCDC guidelines. Is that, I can't even remember, but I think he showed me ncdc.gov dot ng yes yeah so that is the one i clicked ncdc in fact let me go back to my search so that we can be on the same page because you see i typed in copy can you see my page can you see my screen i'm sharing my screen now you should be able to see it Okay, let me go back to where I can see your screen. Hello, Dr. Faremi. Present, sir. Yes, uh, wait a here. But, uh, I am using Edge. I was following up to the point where uh, Professor Nubi also had the issues. Uh, okay. Right now, um, I am not following again. Yeah, I, I, have you been able to add the web importer to to your to your browser to the edge yes yes you've I been able to uh, uh, can I you see mainly mainly uh, web importer somewhere yes is, is it showing in front of the search bar is the web importer showing in front of the search bar of your edge search bar yeah i have edge slash extensions exactly yeah. So that extension, can you see the web importer there? Yes, there's web importer um, in the micro format somewhere there. Yes, exactly in that micro format. So you are you are fine. So you are good to go. So we now said we should just Google search, search from Google because if you search uh, the default search uh, bar for for Edge is uh, I think is Bing right it's so, what uh, is bing i think the, okay. the the first search engine for edge is bing yeah so you may first of all need to search but google. i have i have chrome on my system is there any way i can quickly you can yes you can if you go to if you go to default application from the yes. from the left uh <laughs> lower from the left bottom search bar of your system yes. you yes. can check just type in the Default applications. So it will it will bring up all your default applications. So for web web uh, or browse uh, browser, change it yes. from Edge to Chrome. So then. You so Doctor Faremi. Yes, bro. That's welcome me to new Edge. Yes. Now I've seen find your favorite install extension. I should click that. Yes, yes, bro. Install, install extensions. Me. Yes. Bro. Okay. Thank you. So after I install the extension, yes, I should. After installing the, uh, after it installing just the, changed the, it just changed the box to, after clicking it just changed the box to yeah, install extension. Exactly. It didn't so load in anything. In, in the front of the prop, in the front of the search bar, can you see the menu icon anywhere? A micro icon, a small icon. The red one. Yes, the red one. Uh, it's white. underneath my yeah the it's underneath the search bar right the search bar yes so it's part i should it. click it so, 
you don't need to click it now he, since he's dead. Oh, okay. So okay. what what I want you to do? No, immediately if they unloaded it, it yeah, put yes. it on my desktop. Mendeley yes. reference, Mendeley desktop. Okay. Yeah, I see the two of them on my way on my desktop. No, not on the desktop. On the web, if you open the edge. Yes, it's among where you see. Uh, it's immediately after my Zoom. After exactly, my Zoom. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. So, I think that that should be fine. So, uh, I should go to since I have literature mm -hmm. search, then yes. to do the to do the website now to do the website. Yes. I should go yeah. back to tools. No, I should go back to tools. No, not to tools, Prof. What we want okay. to do is to see how the web importer is being used. Okay. So okay. He said oftentimes we want we are doing. A study, for example, the COVID nineteen study that we are just right. to play with. You know, the literature search from Mendeley. We probably pull different literature from all over the world, and That's exclude right. literature from our own local vicinity, from Nigeria. That's right. For example, the NCDC. The NCDC is the uh, control uh, the gatekeeper with respect to COVID-19. So it's not reasonable for you to do any local study without having recourse to reference SMB. to them. Yes. So and I've said so we can go to Google search and just put COVID-19 and type in COVID-19 under the Google search. Yes. So under the Google search result, one of the results is uh, is that of uh, NCDC. I think the, that's top result. For me, one of the results, it says top result. NCDC coronavirus COVID-19 microsites. So that's, I, I think, uh, I click that. Or the Nigerian Center for Disease Control is part of the results. So you just click on one of that, one of the websites. Okay. Probably the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, the ncdc.gov. Okay. Dot ng. So that has uh, it has NCDC, NCDC coronavirus as footnote and situation report as part of the footnote. So, madam, are you there now? Do you have this uh, guideline now? I did Google search. I didn't get what you were getting. Did 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 you get? Did you get? Did you see this? Uh, what's your? Are you searching using Bing? Are you using Edge? Yes, I'm using Edge. So, the, if you are using Edge, that means I have mentioned it earlier. I said the default search engine for Edge is Bing. Is not Google. Yes, is Bing. Yes, it's the yes. default is so, Bing. Yes. So the first thing that you may need to do is to first of all do google.com. Okay. I did Google search. Uh -huh. No, just do google.com. So it will give okay. you the Google search bar. Okay. So from that Google search bar, type in COVID-19. Okay. COVID-19 or NDDC. Yes. Uh, Prof, can you see, can you see the uh, ncdc.gov.ng? Yes, I have seen it and I see Niger Data Development. Okay. okay. NDC. Is so, NDC? No, NCDC. 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 Okay. Yes, NCDC, the Nigerian Center for Disease Control. Yes, okay. NCDC. Hmm. Yes. .gov.ng, yes. Yes, .gov.ng. I will see the latest news for today, Edo 2520, this and that. Uh, no, that's ncdc.gov.ng, Prof. NCDC. You know they look alike. It's not NDDC. No, no, NCDC. I'm there. Nigeria so, Center for Disease Control. Yes. They All are right, giving so. the report for today. Nigeria okay. Center for the Control. Okay, you've already clicked on the website. Oh, I, okay, you've already clicked on the website, bro. Yes. 
So right. uh, showing federal capital, uh, the number of uh, incidents today. No All right. Start. So underneath, just down, just down that uh, same web page. That down yeah. under that, within the website, you can yeah. see uh, like a segment, different boxes. Mm -hmm. All image. I, I, for me, I'm seeing, I'm seeing Nigeria Center for Disease Control. I'm seeing emergency. That's the first thing that is. Yes, there. emergency. Emergency. So pandemic under so, it. Uh, uh, we need to be on the same page, Prof. I'm not sure we're on the same page. Prof, can you see my screen? No. I'm seeing my only screen. Okay. Emergency. Yeah. What, what is that color? Is that pink? Yeah, I've seen the pink something. Can I've seen your screen. Okay, prop. So I want you to be here. So ncdc.gov.ng. Yes. So are you here, ma? Are you here, prop? Uh. Then, Madam, are you here too? The car is traveling so I see emergency. Is that in order? Okay, so yes, you are in order. So in under, pink under, color. Under, under the emergency, you can see A to Z of diseases, training highlights. Can you see can you see ah. that? No. Just scroll down. It's just by scrolling down, by scrolling down alone. A Z of diseases, yes. Yes, just by scrolling down. Yes. Right. There's a map down yes the, uh, hey. now you now have a you now have another one national action, national action plan on air security can you see that no there are boxes yes there are boxes okay so, national action plan yes uh, then the next on one air security is, 2018 yes. to 2022 yes the next to it is the guideline, COVID-19 guideline for earth workers. Okay, I see. IPC and PPE, all of that. Yes, Click on yes. that, sir. Click on that. Okay. Hello, Dr. Okay. Farid. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, the Google has opened ncdc.gov.ng update. Yes, yes. And I have a lot of. Where are you now? What do so I do? Go to the go to the COVID nineteen guidelines. COVID nineteen guidelines. Okay. COVID nineteen guidelines. There's a PDF infection prevention and control. Yes, yes. Infection prevention and control. Recommendations during healthcare. Are you yes. there? So yes, click I've on that. that. If you click on that, uh, Dr. Ewek, are you there too? I'm seeing plenty of things on COVID-19, but the COVID-19 guideline. Yes, for yes. health workers. Okay. COVID-19 guideline for health workers, healthcare workers. It says infection prevention and control recommendations during That's education. 11 pages. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh, Dr. Wick, are you there? Yeah, go ahead. I'll, I'll get it. No, you need, you are just very, you are already too close. You are so close. So yes, uh, it's just because I'm on page, I'm on page three. No, I just want you to click on that guideline. Just to click on that guideline. And then if you bring up uh, the document. Ah, let me not do that. Are we there? Yeah, I am, I am on COVID. There are several guidelines, plenty. The, the Which infection prevention, ma? Infection prevention and control recommendations during healthcare when COVID-19 is suspected. Can you see it? I'm there. I'm, search I'm searching I'm for it. it. 
you don't need to search for it now. Shemi is on. I'm just giving. I want us to use real life, uh, real life scenario. Yes, we are searching. We want to be on the same page with you. All right. Okay. Let me just. I've that. been. I've seen guidelines for employers. Okay. Strategies to improve surveillance, guidelines for schools and learning, uh -huh. guidelines for conducting for elections. Have you seen guidelines for healthcare workers? Is you for That's that? I've okay. seen guidelines for self isolation. Okay. Uh, guidelines okay. for safe transportation. Yeah. Guidelines and I for think I need to be guidelines. Sector. If you don't mind, you can actually click guidelines on Guidelines for pregnant women. <laughs> I think any guidelines of the guidelines for the management of pregnant women. I think I think any of the guidelines we do. Okay, I should select any for just pick on sake. anyone. Pick on anyone, it will pop up okay. the, the PDF version. So that at least okay. you, are you there? Let me click on guidelines for opening of schools. Uh -huh. So once you have that, I think. Are you there? Yeah, OK. Yes, I'm on a guideline now. Hello, can you, so are you? Uh, hello, Dr. Yemi. All right, can you, so. Yes, I'm on a guideline now. Uh, uh, fine. So. Once your that guideline open. Hello. You, yes. Can you hear me? Hello. I, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I am Mr. Topen. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, madam. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, but it appears that the madam was not hearing me. All right, so once you click on any of the guidelines, you will see that it opens a PDF version of the guideline. So all you need to do is now to click on your web importer icon. Please click on your web importer icon. So if you click on your web importer icon. You are going to see when something. Do we, when like, we now see that, is okay. You, you have the icon, and that small icon, that web importer icon, that one that is along Tats the bar? search bar. Yes. No, not okay. Tats bar. Okay. Search bar. Okay. Huh? On, on the search bar, it has to be close to the search bar. Okay. Are we there? That when people that you is it the same one? Is it the same one we started with? No, no. This one is web importer. Is it? It will be a small like Look at my own, for example. So uh, look at. Can you see my cursor? Can you see my cursor? I'm coming. I didn't see you. Please look at Let my screen. Oh, look at my screen. This is okay. This is your screen. Yes. So then, can you see? Can you see my arrow? Can you see my cursor? Up, up, up there. Up, up, yes. So look at my web importer yes. here. I okay, okay, okay. I have web, WhatsApp, I have web importer, I have okay. one. Uh -huh. So that one, that, that is the extension. That is the extension that we need. Let me, let me look for it. Is it that it's there or underneath this uh, search bar? It, it has to be around this search bar. Okay, I think I see something there. I'm coming. Ah, I've gone far away from that place. 
So I hope I hope most of us are here. I hope most of us are around this. Uh, I'm trying to see. Yes, uh, Dr. Yemi is uh, suggesting that for those that are having difficulty, just click on the home page of uh, the home page of the NCDC website. I can't see my. I can't see my when mainly thing associated with this. Me, I've seen the guideline. Okay. I've seen the guideline too, sir. All right. So guideline, we have uh, guideline I for health worker, guideline for this and that. Exactly. The so prevention, prop, prevention and control recommendation during prop, health. Yes, you prop. Just click on the guideline for health workers. Okay. Man, uh, Madam has clicked on uh, the guideline for reopening of schools. So there are several of them. But the point yes. I'm making is that once we click on any of the guidelines, it's going to pop yes. up a PDF uh, document. Yes. 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 So when that PDF document pops up, yes. all you need to do is to click on the web importer that you have installed. That web importer that is close to your uh, search bar. Okay. So click on the web importer for you to assess the next, uh, the next uh, uh, conversation box, the next dialogue box. Uh, the dialogue box is dropped. I can't find the mainly thing there again. The web importer. What I'm still seeing is this uh, search, literature search. The mainly desktop on top. Okay. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, Click the mailing icon. Yes. It takes us back to where we search for COVID-19. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's not the mailing icon. It has to be the web importer icon. I think uh, what we do is I would suggest that we have a two parts to this training so that we get this web important because that's about the last installation and we really need it so that we have everybody we get everybody those that have that uh, couldn't actually finish their installation will be able to finish even the first part of the installation while we uh, uh, those that are having issues with this web importer the browser, we can actually resolve that. So we need to, uh, that's my suggestion though, because I know a number of people are, are lost. So we need to, so that I can now, I can now share some uh, help on how to get the essential installations because if the web router have been correctly installed it will be either in front of the search bar or underneath no, uh, if you look at sir if you look at my top the top section of my screen that is my search bar you know that's where the result is showing mm. it's showing ncdc.gov.ng yes yes things. so your web importer will always be around there the all plugins the plugins will be around there this is a web plugin is either is in front, underneath, or on the left. It will be around here. If it had been correctly installed, it will be around around uh, that bar. Yes, yes. So it's after the bookmark. So what do is it there? Is it there, Prof? Hello, Dr. Yemi. Hello. 
Yes, that's it. They are not even finding the extension icon. They are not finding it. Doctor Faremi. Extension icon. Hello, Doctor Faremi. Hello, I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes, I've got to a point where I now have something the download for guidance for schools in Nigeria, and yes. uh, there is also this icon you mentioned, which is yes. mainly web importer stuff. Okay. I've, I've clicked on it, and the thing has propped up some white um, band. As okay. Talking of um, perhaps consent or sign in. Well, Am I am I really following? Yes, the is uh, you you are, you are following. So I, I don't even have any issue with the guidelines because any of the guidelines is fine. What yeah. I'm particular about is that I want people to be able to see the plugin, the extension. Okay. In front of your search bar, yes. you should have the web importer icon that's it that's what i'm saying that i have seen it and i clicked on it does it uh -huh. if you click on it then it will, it will give you this dialog box is it showing you this drop down yes there is a drop down fine so the web importer icon what does it look like it is it not like the reddish something it's red and white from yes the reddish yes uh -huh. but it's a smaller oh, one it's a smaller oh, one it's a smaller one this time around and is always on the top, uh, is at the top section of your screen, not on the taskbar, not at the bottom. Okay, not 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 at the bottom. Okay. Yes, not at the bottom. So it will be at the top. Bar. So if you don't have it, then we have not installed it. Yes. If we don't have it, it means that we have not installed. God bless you, Prof. If okay. You don't have it, it, uh, it's not yet installed. Wow. Okay, let's go back then. Okay, so I should remain where I am. That's what you're saying. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Now you have got it. I, I, I have a suggestion. I have a suggestion because I don't want I I don't want people to be fatigued. I don't want people to be tired. So yeah. I'm suggesting it's already four o'clock. Exactly, exactly, prop. So I think we should have a, another section for next week Tuesday. Maybe next week, Tuesday, 1 p.m., so that all these installations, once the web in importer is installed, the rest under one hour will be able to tidy up on Tuesday. Approved, Master. So I, 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 think, uh, I think it would be the best. Uh, so for those of us that no, need no, to. No certificate for three hours. Approved. <laughs> 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 so I, I think it will be the best. So at least we can be those that needs to do an update of the browser, those that needs to change their browser to Google Chrome or to a more friendly browser, so that we can actually have time to do that. Okay. Do we do we subscribe to that? Any take home, any oh. take, any take home assignment. Yes, yes, the take home assignment. The, the take the take-home assignment is that we must have the Mendeley desktop, we must have the uh, uh, Microsoft plugin installed, and we must have the web importer installed. So the environment must appear this way. This small icon, this topmost icon must be on our screen. So once we have that, then we will take it from there on Tuesday. Thank you so much. All right. Sorry, Dr. Faremi. Yes, sir. If you are able to import it, what do you do with the with the data, with the file? I, I yes, if you are because able I, I have been able to import, to import it. it. You know, you uh -huh. know, technically it has gone to if you go into your library. Okay, okay. So okay. by the time we meet on Tuesday, we now set up that library. And, okay. be, and now begin to use that library to write. Okay, it's okay. So you, because once, you, you see what happens is that once people are not able to get this point, in fact, the other one are the easiest, this is the most difficult aspect, the configuration okay. of, the, of the library. Right. So,
So once the library is configured, the rest we are conversant with uh, how to actually put together our thoughts and all of that. So in another one hour by Tuesday, we'll be able to round up and have something uh, practical to hold on and tangible. Tuesday is on the 8th. Am I right, sir? Yes, oh, I think so. I have not even checked. I, I'm just suggesting. Let, That's it and, um, I think it's 8th. Yes, it's Do you eight. have time preference? I'm thinking we should stick to 1. Maybe 1 to 2.30 should be fine. So people can actually have the morning time to to do some uh, assignments. Oh, then we just come 1 to 2.30 or 1 to 3 in max. Good. Accepted. So I think I think the center will also send. Thank you so much. Yes, we we will also send notice just the way we have done uh, for this first uh, session. We send reminders. Thank you. We appreciate. All right. So thank you all participants. Thank you everybody because we have uh, actually glued on for almost uh, three hours now. So. Thank so you very Tuesday, much. Yeah, yeah. Tuesday will round up and it will be worth it. God bless you. you too. Thank you very much, Dr. Faremi. Thank you so much. Right, thank, thank, you. You. thank you very much, sir. Thank you. God sir. bless you. Amen. Thank you, sir. Well, well attended. Thank, 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 thank you so much, Dr. Faremi. Thank you so much, Dr. Faremi. Have you installed your web importer, Ma? Yes, it's working. We've even done sites. We've gone very far. We exported bibliography for a journal and all the like. You can see the my, you can my see the went up. participants so from <laughs> so <laughs> the site. You are just like at me. Important <laughs> reference. Yeah, I just say this old old schools. <laughs> See, uh, that is Dr. Kondi Osho. <laughs> oh, it's very interesting. Thank, thank you. you. So we, appreciate we appreciate you. you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. So we we'll round up. For you. Especially for the fact that you are using generator. Yes, <laughs> so teach yes, us. God yes. reward you. It's a big sacrifice. We are thank so you. grateful. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless sir, you. Thank, thank you. you very much, sir. All right. So we we'll send a follow-up reminder. As uh, in the next day, oh, yes. by tomorrow, he was happy that we're able to. Yeah. <laughs> We've gone ahead of him. Yeah. Yes. 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 Are you closing? No. Hello, Dr. Yalawo. Hello, Dr. Yalawo. Hello, Dr. Yalawo. Dr. Fire, Misa. Hello, Dr. Yalawo. Hello, sir. Hello, ma. Yes, sir. Please, I sent you some messages because um, I got stuck on um, some other when I when I downloaded a new Chrome. That's okay. where everything. There seems to be no connection between what's happening on the Chrome and what's the process between the Mendeley and my Safari. Yes, the the mm. Chrome. You you need to. You need to ma, I want you to reset the. Default oh, app. Just search the wow. default app. Default app. When you search default app, it will show you all your default app. So for the web for, for the web browser, change it from Safari to Chrome. Wow. Okay. Dr. Uh, yes. But that is not going to okay. It, it's going to throw off a lot of other things. But no, you have to do that. It, 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 it won't it, it, it will only be that when you are clicking on a, a, any default. Link it will open in Chrome. Okay. So, so Dr. Faremi. Yes, sir. Is it possible you send the slide so that we can use that for revision? Yes, I will. I will, I will send the, the slide at least that emphasizes on all of this uh, installation process and. Yeah, uh, so that we can use that for yes, revision I, and I, catching I up. I will do that. I will send it to the center. So, Okay. So where do I find that default thing? How do I reset it? Oh, 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 on oh, Mac? Yeah. In the search bar, you know there is a search, there is an app search bar. For Windows, is usually on the... No, oh, this is Mac. This is a Mac. Uh, for Mac, for Mac, I yes, can't really place where that is. Uh, yeah. just, I think it should be 
around the start menu or thereabouts, the home page. Uh, so check for. I was even trying to. I tried to type default. It's not the, giving me. Default application. Uh, it's not giving. Okay. You know what? Mm. Let's. Yes, sir. Let's Google search it to say how to change default application in a, on in, 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 in okay. Mac. Okay. Okay. Don't let me take your time, sir. I'm going to do that. But I've, right. the, I've I sent you private messages. All right. No. So that if no I have problem. any. Yes, uh, no problem. Thank no you. Problem. That would be good. Thank you very okay. much, sir. Yes. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. See you on Tuesday. Bye bye. Bye bye, sir. Thank you. All, all right. Thank you very much. Okay. Grateful. Bye-bye. Okay, sir. Yes, sir.